Hello world, this is Swift for Beginners. I'm Mohit Deshpande, and this course is brought to you by Zenva. So the objective of this course is to give you a basic understanding of the Swift programming language. So by the end of this course, we certainly don't expect you to be masters of Swift, but you will be able to write and read Swift code. So some of the requirements of this course are that you need, you need an Apple computer because in order to write in Swift code you need an integrated development environment and Apple provides one called Xcode but the thing with Xcode is that it only runs on computers that have Mac OS X installed so that would be all kinds of Apple computers, MacBook Airs, MacBook Pros, iMacs, Mac Minis, etc. Now if you want to publish your application to the iOS or OS X App Store or if you want access to any of the iOS or OS 10 betas, you'll need to buy a developer license from Apple, and I believe they're $99. If something that you'll notice what's not on the requirement list is any prior programming knowledge. So, so for this course, you really don't need to know any prior programming language or have any experience in programming. We try to teach this course for beginners if you, as if you have no experience. Now certainly if you do know a prior programming language it'll certainly give you a leg up. So what is Swift? Swift is Apple's new programming language that they announced at the Worldwide Developer Conference in early June of this year 2014 and it's meant to be used in iOS or OS 10 applications and one of its shining moments is that it can work concurrently with Objective-C which before the Swift announcement was exclusively used to program iOS or Mac OS X applications, but now with Swift and the new uh, Xcode that's coming out, you can call Swift code from Objective-C and vice versa. So this course is really taught as kind of a crash course of syntax-based pure programming course, right? So we don't expect you to have any prior programming knowledge, and we're really going to teach this, we're going to teach all the language and the syntax of Swift. Now, I won't be able to cover every single thing about Swift, but Apple has published this great book called The Swift Programming Language, and it's out on, you can get it on uh, iBooks, and I'm really going to be following that, the book's uh, structure there. So, I mean, if, if there were really like an accompanying book to this course, it would certainly be The Swift Programming Language, so you can go and check that out. So let's get to what we're actually going to be going over. So I'm going to go over the constants and variables, explicitly the kinds of numbers, uh, what Boolean values are, and this new language features called tuples and optionals. We'll move on to some of the basic math operators, so addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, an operator you may or may not be familiar with called modulo or modulus math. We'll talk about some of the range operators as well as the logical operators. So we'll move on to exactly what strings are, how to change strings, or upper, uh, convert them to upper or lower case, or search for particular prefixes or suffixes. We'll move on to the two main collection types in Swift and their arrays and dictionaries. We'll move on to control flow, which are all the different kinds of looping constructs, as well as some of the conditional statements, like the if or else if, We'll move on to functions and how all the different shorthand and default values and variadic things that we can do with their parameters, um, how can we treat functions as types, and what nested functions are, which are essentially functions within functions. We'll end with closures and enumerations, and there's a lot of shorthand that actually works to kind of simplify the code using closures and enumerations. So a quick overview of who I am. Uh, my name is Mohit Deshpande. I'm a professional software developer, particularly in mobile apps. I've had five years of experience in Android and some iOS. And I've been learning Swift as the language and the syntax all that ever since it was announced at WWDC in early June. So a quick blurb about uh, Zenva. You can see their website, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and their game developer academy blog. Um, so Zenva has a ton of premium and free online courses. So you can please feel free to check them out. 
So without further ado, let's get started.